five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. And lift off. Lift off a Falcon Heavy with Europa Clipper, unveiling the mysteries of an enormous ocean lurking beneath the icy crust of Jupiter's moon, Europa. Engine chamber pressures are nominal. See that the chamber pressures are nominal from here. All 27 Berlin engines look great. Rocket beginning to roll. Putting down 5.1 million pounds of thrust. Dynamic pressure on the launch vehicles. We approach that. The two side boosters at full throttle. A beautiful shot there. Is our camera team? Max Q. Locking into the rocket on a clear blue sky. The view from the booster cam back down on Earth. And there we heard the call for Max Q. The vehicle is passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Uh, next thing up in about two minutes will be a booster engine cutoff where we see the two side booster engines, all 18, shut down and get ready for booster separation. But the vehicle is performing very well. Looking at all the telemetry that we have, uh, power and trajectory are nominal. And stage separation from the uh, center core. Getting ready for MVAC startup, SES-1. We're getting some applause here in the Mission Directors Center, and there you see the MVAC-D engine lighting up. Next thing up in about 10 seconds will be fairing NYPY separation. NYPY FTS has saved. And fa the fairing has protected Europa Clipper on its ascent up into space, but once we get into space, we don't need that fairing anymore. Uh, so there they go. confirmed. Fairing has separated, and those will be recovered, Daryl, by uh, SpaceX's own recovery ship, Go Cosmos. Over.